show that the turning point of f is at x is equals to 1 and y is equals to minus 4. Right. So we're given f of x being equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. We want to show that the turning point of f is at x is equals to 1 and y is equals to minus 4. 4.1.1. 4 uh, back to the basics. We know that the x at the turning point is equals to minus b divided by 2a. And then a is this uh, number we have there, right? So that is a and then b is minus 2 and then c would be minus 3, right? So x will be equals to minus b is minus 2 divided by 2a. So we have 2 and then a is 1. And this will give you 1. So x at the turning point is equal to 1. Now to find the y value, we're going to say f of 1. We substitute in 1 into f of x. We're going to get 1 squared minus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3. So 1 squared is 1 minus 2, that is minus 1 minus 3. We have minus 4. And as you can see, we have showed that uh, the turning point is at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 4. Let's move to the following equation. 4.1.2. Determine the coordinates of the x and y intercepts of the graph of f. Right, so x intercept. Let's start with the x intercept. As soon as you hear x intercept, you should be thinking y is equal to 0. Right, we have said that x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to f of x, right? That is our function. Now we're letting y be equal to 0 in order to find our x intercept. So we're going to have x squared minus 2x minus 3 being equal to 0. We can simply factorize at this point. Uh, we can open two brackets is equal to 0. We have x there and we have x there. And then now the question I'm asking myself, which two numbers do I multiply and get minus 3? And when I add them, I get minus 2. That is minus 3 and plus 1. So x minus 3, x plus 1. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 1. x being equal to 3 and y being equal to 0. And then again here we have x being equal to minus 1 and y being equal to 0. So we have found uh, the x intercepts. We have found the x intercepts. Let's go ahead and find the y intercepts. So the y intercept, uh, so we're going to have x being equal to 0. Right? So now uh, we have f of x being equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. We'll let in x be equals to 0 now. So we're going to have y being equals to 0 squared minus 2 multiplied by 0 minus 3. So y is equals to minus 3, right? So that is our y intercept. Yeah, now we have all the intercepts that we were required to find. We can go ahead and do 4.1. Point three. So for 4.1.3, determine the points of intersection of the graphs of F and G. So the points of intersection, we simply let F of X be equals to G of X. Uh, F of X, we know fully well that that is X squared minus 2X minus 3. It will be equals to X minus 5, which is our G of X. Right? Uh, so we're going to take X to the left hand side and then take minus 5 to the left hand side also to get X squared minus 3X plus 2 is equals to so we can simply factorize this. So let's open our two brackets. Let's open our two brackets. Being equals to zero. So again, the key question. Two numbers that when I multiply, I get two. But when I add, I get minus three. That is minus two and minus one. So I'm going to have x uh, minus two, x minus one. So x is equals to two or x is equals to one is where our graphs intersect. So we're supposed to find the points of intersection, not the x values of which they intersect. So we have to find the corresponding 
y value so let's go ahead and do that so when x is equals to you two what is y equals to it is equals to if we use g of x that will just be two minus five right so y will be minus three and then when x is equals to one we have y being equals to one minus five so y is equals to you minus four right so this is uh, the points of intersection this is the points of intersection now in 4.1.4 we are required to sketch linked graphs of f and g on the same system of axis clearly label the turning point and where the graphs of f and g intersect each other as well as the x and y intercepts of both graphs so we have all the intercepts of f and we have the points at which they meet right now we just need uh, the intercepts of g of x and then we're going to be able to sketch our graph so let's go ahead and do that uh, so the x intercept of g of x will let in y be equals to zero right so we're going to have zero being equals to x minus five so five is equals to x is one of the intercepts so x when it is 5 y is 0 so let's go ahead and find the y intercept so uh, y intercept will let x be equals to 0 so we have y being equals to 0 minus 5 so y is equals to minus 5 so that is our y intercept when x is equals to 0 y is equals to minus five yeah i think now we have all we need we can actually go ahead and sketch our function so let's Now I have my axis and I can then let's give it a try right so if we had asymptotes we would start by sketching the asymptotes but then in this case we don't have so we're gonna start by the intercepts let's start with f of x let's start with f of x and then we're gonna, we're gonna move to g of x so f of x we have two x intercept one is at minus one and the other one is at three right so let's just indicate that we have one x intercept here at minus one and we have another one at three so let's just leave that like that now let's move to the y intercept our y intercept x is equal to zero and y is equal to minus three so we have a point here we have a point here we have indicated the x intercept we have indicated the y intercept and lastly we have a turning point at x is equal to one and y is equal to minus four so somewhere here we have a turning point so now let's go ahead and sketch our graph i think we have all that we need so let's see what we gonna have so we're supposed to turn the head y is equal to minus four and then go up to x is equal to three so we need 
something like this right and then now uh, g of x we have an x intercept when x is equals to 5 so right here we have an x intercept and then we have another coordinate the y intercept at y is equals to minus 5 so right here right and then our two graphs they intersect once at uh, the turning point of f once here at the turning point of f and again when x is equals to 2 and y is equals to minus 3 so somewhere here they intersect again so let me try make that make sense so we supposed to have a line that will go through these four points some way somehow our line must go through those four points so it should be something like that this is what we're supposed to do for 4.1.4 it's not so neat like they've requested but this is uh, the best I can I can do right let's move forward to 4.1.5 so 4.1.5 use the graph to determine the values of x for which f of x is greater than zero right we can see here from minus one going to the negative uh, our f of x is greater than zero right and then from three going to the positive f of x is greater than zero so our answer we have x being less or equals to minus one or x being greater or equals to three